the holy detonation to your cells. Blasphemy! The sacred glow belongs to the nucleus alone! The glow belongs to everyone! The angel has spoken! You will all be cast out to die in the wasteland with the rest of the unworthy! Stop this! There's no need for violence! For a moment there, I thought you would be too late. 
What a battle. Let me introduce you to my new acquaintance. Brother, er, Carbuncle of the Primordialists, who came out with his friends to welcome me when I hailed Cheyenne Mountain over the radio. Hey, thanks for defending us. No way we'd have survived without your help. I wish I could welcome you to our home, but the bastard Nucleus finally made their move. And it looks like we're gonna have to fight to get back in. Holy shit! And people think a talking parrot is weird! Ah. Oh, I don't suppose you'd be willing to help us with that? Oh, we can offer you food and supplies. <clears throat> it will also help us get closer to our goal. Uh, yes. I know you explained it to me once on our way here, Carbuncle. But all this violence is... Would you mind going over it again? Sure. Okay. So I'm Brother Carbuncle. And my friends and I are primordialists. The ones we fought are <laughs> nucleus, and it sucks that we're fighting at all. Those people used to be my friends. See, in the beginning was the holy detonation, and us <laughs> worshippers were called primordialists. We believe the detonation's sacred glow will make us all <laughs> one, and we want to share it with the whole world. But one of us, Deuterium, started saying the world wasn't worthy of the glow, and we should keep it to ourselves. We called that heresy, so he went off and started a cult, the Nucleus, and called himself an abbot. Since then, the peaceful paradise that Cheyenne Mountain used to be has become a hellhole. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, I am. I'm just devolved. Gloriously devolved, Father Bezor says. Mutation hits us all differently, and I went down the proto drool path. Still got my voice, though. Kinda. But some folks lose that first. It all depends. Eventually, I'll just be a big blob of <laughs> protoplasm. It'll be great. Fascinating. Yeah. Uh, some mutations are more useful than others, right? You get enough radiation in you, and it can come back out in all kinds of crazy ways. For them, it keeps them alive for a little while after they buy the farm. Oh, great. That was Deuterium picking his moment. Up till now, there's been no fighting between the two sides, but I, I guess he decided it was time. He knew just when to strike. <laughs> Bastard. He must have heard our call to Theo here, saying we'd come out to welcome him. Because when we got back, the Nucleus were waiting for us. My dear friend, I am so sorry if my call caused all this. How terrible. It's not your fault, Theo. But we gotta hurry back inside. They're attacking our camp in there. I heard our brothers and sisters calling for us on the walkie. That damn Deuterium's trying to wipe us out once and for all. Oh, that's a tumor colony. They form all over the place in Cheyenne Mountain. Kinda hard to clear them once they gather like that. Sister Melanoma could tell you more about them once we get inside. If we get inside. Praise the great glow. Thank you, friends. Here's the passcode for the airlock. You enter it into the terminal next to it. Just be prepared for more fighting. Well done, please. One step closer.
system failed or bay on the inner door has been sealed. Yeah, it's sealed automatically if a security lockdown is triggered. The nucleus must have done it to keep us out. Uh, I think there might be a way in the access control room over there. Maybe. Uh, sorry. Good luck. Please, Rangers. More diplomacy. It appears they've activated security measures. Yeah, those things are security beacons. You're gonna need to shut them off or they'll keep calling more robot reinforcements. Those switches over there will do it. All you gotta do is get to them. They're part of Cheyenne's old security system. They detect and identify summon robots to deal with them. Which is great if you're controlling them. Not so good if 
for us. Yeah, good luck. Persevere, Rangers.
deactivated. Thank you for your cooperation. job shutting down the security alert friends well done yeah good good job let's go in Why are the doors closed? I hear fighting in the camp. We've got to get in there. Inside at last, and it seems not a moment too soon. Yeah, thanks for getting us in here before Abbot Deuterium and the Nucleus <laughs> massacred everyone. And I'm sure the Proteus and <laughs> Sister Polyp over there are gonna want to thank you for it. Uh, is the Proteus that mass over there? Well, that's them, yeah. Our blessed leader. Aren't they awesome? They'll definitely want to. <laughs> Uh, excellent. And that would also be a perfect time to ask them about our, uh, objectives. Wouldn't it, Rangers? Go on, then. Friends, saviors, over here! Fuck! Kill this thing! Do not be alarmed. 
The blessed radiation has devolved our beloved Proteus's speech beyond the ability of the uninitiated to understand. But I can translate. I am Sister Paula, speaker for the Proteus. Sorry, Proteus. That is, I'm speaker until the true speaker, Father Bezor, returns to us. If he does. The Proteus thanks you for your timely intervention. Your arrival has spared us all much unnecessary violence. What would you ask of them? Father Bezor is... was... the true speaker for the Proteus, and their second-in-command. He both interpreted and carried out the Proteus's wishes. I am only his... stand-in. The Proteus believes the Nucleists have captured him and are holding him in a cell in the lower levels. They fear they are performing experiments on him. Others among us fear he is already dead. I'm sorry, Proteus, but it is a possibility we have to consider. The Proteus says Abbot Deuterium is obsessed with manipulating the process of mutation. They fear Bezor will be mutated in ways he does not wish. The Proteus says they pray for his safe return. But let us get back to the matter at hand. We do not wish war, but the Nucleus seems set on it. Deuterium, their leader, wanted to kill the Proteus. Thanks to you, they fled instead. But you've only postponed the inevitable. They will try again. You see, to ensure its safety, entering the Chamber of the Holy Detonation requires two codes. The Proteus holds one, Deuterium the other. Thus, in the weeks since the Nucleus split from us, neither side has been able to worship in its presence. We have tried to convince Deuterium to rejoin us so we may all worship together, but he has refused. Instead, he wants to take the Proteus's code so only Nucleus may worship. This is... Intolerable. It is tattooed on one of their inner members, meaning Deuterium would have to kill them to get it. And if we want Deuterium's code, well, that would be difficult, as he's locked himself in the power storage facility. Not only is there no getting down there, the facility is where the Nucleus perform their rituals, passing the holy energy of the batteries through their bodies. They would be at their most powerful there. But we must get in, for if we can't extricate Deuterium and get the code, we may never worship before the Holy Detonation again. A calamity. Or leverage. For us. Ah, oh, very true, Proteus. The Proteus says there may be one way to reach him. Deuterium's girlfriend, the Angel Iridium, was so frightened by your entry, she ran the wrong way. She could be a bargaining chip. A dangerous one. She is hiding in the cooling chamber over there. But in her distress, she is emitting deadly levels of radiation. It would be impossible to get near her, even for those such as ourselves who thrive on the glow. The Proteus says the Nucleus believe we're degenerate. Unworthy of the holy detonation, even though we've served it faithfully for years. They want its power only for themselves. They shall not have it. The difference is that we want to share the holy detonation with everyone, while Deuterium and his nucleus want to keep it only for the worthy. In other words, themselves. 
But we are starting to believe they no longer wish to abandon themselves to unity. They are afraid to give up their individuality and become one with the Proteus. They want to be angels instead. Gods when we already have a god. The Proteus says they need to give up their prideful ways and return to the true path of devolution, dissolution, and oneness. Proteus says the Holy Detonation is a gift to all mankind. If you can convince Deuterium to return and help us open its chamber, or find some other way of getting his code, they will happily share its power with the whole world. Despite everything, the Proteus does not wish Deuterium harm. That said, we cannot tolerate anyone standing in the way of our ability to worship in the Holy Chamber. Do what you can, but if that fails, do what you must. <laughs> The Proteus suggests you use the Angel Iridium as leverage to reach Deuterium. Deuterium would do anything to get his beloved back, even open the door that protects him. If you have her, he will be forced to negotiate. And she awaits you not 20 yards from us, in the cooling pools. Though, as we said earlier, she is, at the moment, dangerously radioactive. The Proteus says you should speak to Brother Goiter, our best engineer, about this. Hopefully, he'll have some idea how to transport Iridium safely. When you can, bring her to the power storage facility elevator and use its intercom to tell Deuterium you have her. Be sure to open it for her. When he does, you will ride down with her and then deal with him. Acrodia says, good luck. Sister Mitosis, I'm sorry you've come at such a difficult time for our congregation, but we're happy you're here. <laughs> at least, we're trying to be. My friend Pitchblend joined the Nucleus a while ago. I haven't heard from him since, and, and now that we and the Nucleus are fighting, I... I'm not sure I ever will again. If... If you see him, maybe you could convince him to come back to us? You'll know him by the friendship bracelet on his wrist. It's the twin of mine. We found them in the ruins when we were kids, and we've worn them ever since. I don't know. This bracelet is all I have left. It means the world to me. Oh, yes. I, I hadn't thought of it like that. Here, take it. I will pray for your success. Pray, mostly. Or as the Proteus commands. We all pitch in to keep the place going. Foraging, cooking, cleaning, preparing the holy water. Oh, thank you. 
Go with the green team. Hey there, Rangers. Welcome. Folks around here call me Goiter. If you're looking for salvage tech, you've come to the right place. Contain Iridium? Whew, that's a tall order. She's already hot in her normal state, but when she fled into that cooling room, she was practically shooting out solar flares. Huh. Now that I think of it, she probably went in there because she was so hot. See, they might look serene, but it hurts to be a radiation angel. They need to offload built-up energy or they'll die. But they can't do it around us or we'll die. That's what the pool is for. The angels soak in it and the water safely leaches their energy. In fact, before us and the nucleus split, I was working on a device in there to siphon that energy and... Wait a minute. An idea is coming to me. Okay, got it. We're gonna turn my siphon into a containment device. To do that, we'll need three things. First, there's a particle accelerator on the lab level that has a voltage regulator tough enough to handle her fluctuations. Rip that out. Second, I'm pretty sure I saw a scatter ray emitter in the shipping room near the loading docks that we can use to distribute our shielding material in a bubble around her. And third, the shield itself. The Nucleus are using the old brig to hold unwilling subjects for their experiments. They've been using a force field projector to keep irradiated captives contained. We'll need the crystal out of that. Bring all that stuff back to me, and I'll whip you up something that'll hold Iridium long enough to get her through the camp and down the elevator to Deuterium. Though, uh, not much longer than that. Oh, wait, hang on. You won't be able to get any of those things without the access code for the elevators in the entrance lobby. Here it is. ADM1N1337. Wait a second, before we get to that, I think I heard Sister Polyp telling you how Father Bezor's gone missing, but I bet she didn't ask you to save him, did she? Yeah, well, she wouldn't, see. If he doesn't come back, then she's the speaker permanently. Stops being Sister Polyp and becomes Mother Polyp. And she'd like that just fine. You get it, girl! The rest of us wouldn't be happy about that. She's a devout primordialist, ain't no denying that. But even her biggest supporters wouldn't call her exactly warm and friendly. More cold and tough. And... I don't know, what with deuterium and the nucleus acting up. Maybe we need that, but we love Father Bezor. At least most of us do. And we want him back, so... If you find he's still alive down there in the security level, I hope you'll consider bringing him home. We'd appreciate it. Thanks. Now, what did you want to buy? Again, how's it going? Mostly it's salvaged from down in the lab area. I repair what I can and repurpose the rest. There was this one time I converted a handheld cyclotron into a hairdryer. <laughs> Straighten your short and curlies in two seconds flat. Go with the flow, Rangers. Hello there! Radiation's blessings to you all! My name's... Boobo. If you've got a hurt that needs mending, or you're looking for a little extra pep in your step, I'm... happy to help. What? No, it's because of the... 
swollen nodes all over my body, big as a cassava melons. It's a sign of the holy radiation's life-given power. Named after an owl? <laughs> the very idea. You won't find a better selection of radioactive medicines this side of paradise. Hello again. How can I help you? You've come to the right place, my friends. Radiation is the... Miracle cure. Yes, indeed. All services paid in advance, of course. Excellent. Now, sit back and relax. I'll have you glowing with health in moments. Walk into the light of the... Rangers, praise be to the bomb and shit. You, uh, you looking for some firepower? Sick Rick can hook you up. Ah, nothing like that. Father Bezor started calling me Sick Rick because the, uh, blessed radiation ain't twisting me like the others. Just, you know, bad luck, I guess. Keep it down, will ya? People will hear you. Look. I joined the cult for the dinero. Get me? They let me loot this place of tech and trade it for supplies out in the world. And don't care if I pocket the difference. Uh, everybody's happy. And yeah, uh, you know, to make them happy, I do all the blessings and, and rituals and shit, but I don't drink the water. And I gobble down the anti-rad mushrooms like they were jelly beans, because I don't want my damn face to fall off. But let's... Keep this between friends, okay? I got a pretty good thing going here, and I don't want them kicking me out for saying no thanks to the great glow. Uh, here, how about I cut you a discount on my stock? There's a lab down in research that grows up. Harder to get a hold of now that the primordialists took over that level, but worth dodging their patrols for. Keeps my skin as smooth as a newborn babe's. Everything's in good shape. Not too hot, not too cold, if you get my drift.
the holy rip. Everything's in good shape. Not too hot, not too cold, if you get my drift. I'm sure I've got something that will help. Oh, that's a tumor colony. Flesh tumors are cancerous growths that flake off from the proteus sometimes and scooch around on their own. For some reason, they seem to form colonies around doors and crates. We don't know why. Father Bezoris discovered that he can make them disperse by playing tunes for them on his flute. <laughs> this one's weird, though, because Bezor hasn't been able to find a tune to disperse it. Must have eclectic taste. Of course! Let me know if there's anything you like. Brother Goiter calling. Saw that the elevator stopped at the lab level, and I figured I'd give you a heads up. Military. 
Terra used it as a lab back before the deluge, and the Nucleus are doing the same now, trying to find ways to turn themselves all into angels like Iridium. Not that they're having much success, but there's still a lot of them down there, running around, doing experiments on each other, so watch yourselves. They may be idiots, but they're powerful idiots. The voltage regulator you need is in the particle accelerator chamber. I'll ping you again once I see you're approaching. Good luck.
in too close to the microwave because of the radiation or whatever? Well, I thought, why not turn that into a weapon? If we tune the frequency just right, we... That's not the problem, Jim. What is the problem is that you've taken the only microwave in the whole office. Now, how am I going to heat up my beef ravioli? Not a problem, Bob. I gotcha. Hold on now. Have you even tested that thing? Jim, wait!
stop the radiation cycle and raise the central core. Well, you all got guns, right? Each cannon is connected to a control switch. You'll need to have somebody on the switch while the rest of you destroy the cannon. They collect energy from the central core. When they're full, they raise into position and discharge the radiation into accumulator panels. That's some good shit. Good question. Let's see. First of all, you're not gonna get into the particle accelerator at all without a key card. So look around for that. Oh, and I think I saw a radiation suit down there somewhere. We didn't want it, but you might. Also, Deuterium's got a guy down there experimenting with mushrooms. Eating them is supposed to have some crazy effects. Don't know if that means good, bad, or just entertaining. Try them at your own risk, I guess. Oh, and here's a big one. The hydraulic system that raises and lowers the particle cannons in central core is not the accelerator chamber itself. If you sneak around and find it, you might be able to sabotage it in some way. Afraid that's all I got, Rangers. Good luck. Well, part of it is. The first pulse, the gamma pulse, is like a fresh cup of coffee. Even you outsiders might like it. The second, the holy radiation pulse, when the cannon vents the rest of its energy, is more like a stiff shot of whiskey. We can take it, but it'll make you folks sick as a dog faster than you can say hallelujah. Ain't much time between the gamma pulse and the holy radiation pulse, so you gotta get in quick, do your damage, and get clear. Got it? I like your confidence. Moving on. Go with the glow, Rangers. Guess that last batch worked after all. No, wait a minute. You guys are real. Hey, I know you. Far out. Long time no see, dudes. Thanks for letting me out of that, um, uh, other place. What are you doing here? Yeah, I just said so, man. That was me. Been traveling ever since, seeing the sights, meeting people, you know. Ran into that dude Carbuncle and his missionaries. He told me about this place. Thought I should check it out. And there's all this cool stuff just laying around to experiment with, so I'm blasting shrooms with radiation, see if it makes them even uh, tastier, you know what I mean? Well, uh, two things right now. For one, I'm giving these mushrooms a bath of radiation and then freezing them into mushicles. Uh, for the other one, I'm using this little machine to blast more mushrooms with a lot more radiation. That one's kinda, kinda dangerous, man. 
Oh, man, you should totally try that one for yourselves, man. It's fun. All you got to do is follow the directions the old monk wrote down, and you get a tasty mushroom every time. I do that one every time I need a snack. Dude, let me try a little nibble. So, like... does a bigger blast of bad radiation and sinks back down to charge up again. And that's where it gets dangerous, man. You got a drop in of mushroom right before the little blast so it gets the good radiation and then pull it out again before it gets hit with the bad radiation, which like turns it into toast, right? a big version of this little thing down the hall. Man, I'd hate to be inside that when it was on. I mean, it'd be nice to catch the little blast, right? But that big blast, whoa, bad news. Again, dudes. Sell? Like, for money? Oh man, these monks don't use money. They just, like, give me stuff. But, uh, I do go out sometimes, you know? Field studies, right? So I guess I could use it. Okay, dudes, sure. Check out my stuff.
worked! I've successfully cloned myself! This is incredible! DNA scan in progress. Countdown to disintegration in three. Countdown to... what? Two. No! Oh no! Turn it off! I... One. Incredible! DNA scan in progress. Countdown to disintegration. 